Supply chain integration. This occurs when multiple organizations or their functions in a supply chain coordinate their activities and processes so that they are seamlessly linked to one another in an effort to satisfy the customer. Demand supply integration. This is a supply chain operational philosophy focused on integration that supply management and demand generating functions of an organization. Integrated supply chains have a set of rules, policies, and procedures that dictate how organizations will work together and that specify how conflicts among supply chain partners will be resolved. The idea is creating structure around the process to ensure that you, the end user or consumer or customer, get the best seamless service possible. The supply chain team. They're responsible for the management of flow of goods and services. This involves movement and storage of raw materials, work in process inventory, and of finished goods from point of origin to point of consumption. This is achieved by looking at a set of areas, and this includes sourcing and procurement, production and scheduling, order processing and customer service, inventory control, warehouse and material handling, as well as transportation. The supply chain management is done through the logistics information system, which will help them to analyze and plan for what needs to be done. In terms of internal integration, practice that reflects a highly coordinated effort between supply chain firms or across a business function within the same or different firms are said to be integrated, basically meaning different departments of a company working together, integrated. Our business working with other businesses efficiently and effectively integrated. For an internal perspective, the very best companies develop a managerial orientation towards demand supply integration. In short, companies operating under a DSI philosophy are better at their business because all the different divisions within the company play from the same sheet of music, as in they follow the same game plan. The key to this apart from planning and analyzing and developing, is communication. There are five types of external supply chain integration. This includes relationship, measurements, technology and planning, material and service, as well as customer integration. Relationship integration is the ability of two or more companies to develop a social connection that serves to guide their interaction when working together. Measurement integration. This reflects the idea that performance assessment should be transparent and measurable across the borders of different organizations and should also assess the performance of supply chain as a whole while holding each individual organization or business unit accountable for meeting its own goals. Technology and planning integration. This refers to creation and maintenance of information technology systems that connect managers across the organization in the supply chain. Material and service supplier integration. This requires organizations to link seamlessly to those outsiders that provide goods and services to them so that they can streamline work processes and thereby provide smooth, high-quality customer service experience. And lastly, customer integration. This is a competency that enables organizations to offer long-lasting, distinctive, value-added offerings to those customers who represent the greatest value to the organization or supply chain. It's important to remember a firm's success in achieving each of these types of integration is very important. Highly integrated supply chains have been shown to better satisfy customers, manage costs, deliver high quality products, and enhance productivity whilst utilizing company or business assets.
all of which translates into a greater profitability for company and their partners working together in the supply chain.